Kill Team Hive Storm has barely launched the new edition of Kill Team on our tabletops, but Games Workshop is already on top of its game again. Remember that Strike Force Justin? That was both a Space Marine Hero Series 4 and a Kill Team? And how about Death Guard from Space Marine Hero Series 3? Well, good news for all of you lads who paid an extra buck a pound for those. They will be re-released very soon as part of a new Kill Team starter set. We have already taken a look at the Strike Force Justian in one of the previous videos on this channel. So let us take a look today at those Death Guard minis from Space Marine Heroes Series 3. I have this box purchased online some time ago, and I was hoping that it will be a bunch of unique minis, really <laughs> hard to find. However, it is not gonna be the case, apparently. Now I'm wondering if Space Marine Hero Series 2 with the Terminators is gonna be a kill team of its own. Maybe it will. We shall see. I really like those guys. So this is a box that is supposed to contain eight minis, and uh, there will be seven minis that are unique, and one of them will be repeated. So let's take a look. I'm gonna really quickly open the box. And we shall start opening them one by one. These are the minis that we expect to see. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, this is how you normally see it in the store, like this. And uh, let's start with the first one. I'm gonna put it aside. This is how the small books look like. There we go. I'm gonna open it here. This is the same format, by the way, as Space Marine Hero Series 2. I have some of them here, so you can, you can see they are exactly the same kind of form factor. Only newer logo over here. But other than that, very, very similar setup. So let's take a look what's in the first box. Wow, look at these guys. Look at this sprue. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? I mean, the Death Guard are definitely repulsive, but the minis themselves, they are incredibly cool. So we got Clotikus. This is a guy with some tentacles from his belly. And uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. This is how you assemble Clotikus. And these are the minis that are there. So Clotikus, I guess, is one of the common ones. They don't say anything about rarity of the minis, but we will assume that there are some common ones, uncommon ones, and rares, exactly like it was with the Space Marine Heroes 2 Terminators. This is another one. Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful, guys. This is amazing. Let's see who it is. Gurg the Fowl. Look at this guy. Gurg the Fowl. I have no idea. Again, same symbols as before. And building instructions. This is Gurg the Fowl. We have a third box here. We're going to open it now. Wow, this is somebody with a heavy gun. Look at this gun. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. That's amazing. Let's see who this guy is. More slug. A more slug with a really funny... I don't even know what this thing is. But it looks like uh, some sort of bile thrower. I don't know. You tell me. And, of course, the instructions for our glorious Moore Slug. Very, very nice. We have no duplicates so far. 
box number four. All right. I think this is the mini that we have seen previously. I think this is Gorg. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yes, this is Gurg the Fowl. We got two Gurgs. We got two Gurgs, guys. So we don't expect any more duplicates. Should be the rest of the minis should be unique. Box number five. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen this guy, which is totally expected. Let's see who it is. Calaris. Okay. Very, very cool. Finished assembly. And this is Calaris. So we got this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And we're still waiting for Scabbath. Pustus the Wild and Plague Champion Gangrus. Moving forward. Box number six. Alright, it's a guy with a cape. Must be important. Look at this cape. Look at this cape. And is that a dagger? Is that a sword? I don't know. We will figure this out. This is the Plague Champion Gangrus. The Plague Champion Gangrus is uh, also supposed to be kind of like uh, uncommon, I think, because he is a Plague Champion after all. Plague Champion Gangrus. Yep. Very, very, very cool. Box number seven. Okay, some guy with a huge knife over here. Love it, I love it. Looks amazing, looks amazing. Unbelievable, guys, unbelievable. Who is that? That is Scabbath. And we, of course, get the instructions. This is Scabbath with a very heavy... Is it a mace? So this is how you build Scabbath. And the only one that we are still missing is Pustus the Vile. Very good. And the final box. Which should be... The secret mini, to the best of my knowledge. Yes, this guy. This guy, this is my friends, Pustos the Vile. Let's confirm our suspicions. Yes, exactly. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Isn't he amazing? I think he is. And this is how the instructions look like. Really nice. All right, so uh, we have opened a whole box of Space Marine Heroes Series 3, and uh, we got all the possible minis to the best of my knowledge. This box has been sold in various locations. I think we have a Japanese version of it, and that is why we have all seven minis. Normally, in Europe and in the US, I think the packaging was different, and uh, you were getting random minis, so you could not collect the whole seven of them, opening just one box. I'm quite surprised to see Space Marine Heroes Series 3 retrospectively being assigned as a kill team. It is an interesting development, which makes me think what is going to happen to other Space Marine Hero series, because we have Series 1 and Series 2. 
that are not kill teams to the best of my knowledge like these these guys i would really love to see these guys as a kill team but i guess you cannot just throw you know seven or six terminators against <laughs> a team full of scouts but at the same time if i remember it correctly kill teams might have a different number of minis so maybe you just go with a kill team of five for the terminators i don't know pure speculation so far but it would be really cool because these terminators i did enjoy a lot collecting and building them was a lot of fun and i think there were nine different versions of of these yeah they were incredibly incredibly cool well i think this is gonna be it for today my friends let me know in the comment section below if you like these minis if you expected them to become a kill team of their own what do you think of this move from games workshop if you will be buying the new starter set let me know would be thrilled to learn what you think and uh, that will be all for today i will see you guys in the next videos max is out Take care. Bye.